Welcome back to our channel guys. Today I will be demonstrating to you how to do a battery change of the solar motion sensor light, particularly the Baxia brand. So the Baxia brand comes in two size, two sizes, the small which is 400 lumens and the large which is 2000 lumens. But I will be doing the battery change on the large so if you have these solar lights at home or any other type of solar lights at home do not show them out if they're not working check if they need to need a battery change before you throw out your solar lights let me turn off the camera light so you can see that this light is not working so the flash is off so before I turn off the camera, let me just show you where the pin is. Right here is the power button. So use the pin to turn it on and off. So let me turn off the light. Okay, great. So this one, getting nothing out of it. So you will need a screwdriver, turn it to the back and you use your screwdriver to remove the screws. It's very easy, it's nothing hard to do. In the meantime guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and turn on your post notification. very easy to do nothing hard nothing technical and one last one you know you always have one that give a little trouble but we are good. Oh, I have another one up here. Wonderful. You want to ensure that all your screws are together because when you're going to close it, you need all of them. Wow. So this is what inside looks like. And we remove the battery and we're going to replace it with a new battery you can get these from amazon or any convenience store so there's a clip right here so what you will do is ensure that you clip the new battery into the slot right Okay, so it's in, and before you close up, you can just rest it like this, just to use the pin to check if it is working. I'm going to turn off the camera flash again, insert the pin, ah, so this battery is good. And as, a, as you know, these are motion sensors. So once movement is detected, they will automatically turn on. So let me turn it off using the pin again. Great. So you will ensure that the battery is properly positioned. If it's not properly positioned, it will be shaking all over. You just want to ensure that you slip it in like this so it doesn't move freely when you reinstall the lights and you will ensure that all of your screws are placed back where they're supposed to be
Okay, great. So we can close up with the screws. So you ensure that you put the screws in each hole. Then you use a screwdriver to close it. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video. Or if you want to leave a comment, please do so. Thank you very much. See you again in the next video.